Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all. Today, I'm talking about Beauty and the Beast, episode number 10, Means to an End. This episode was directed by um, David McLeod. In this episode here, the, the whole gang is here again. They're still going through the same problems. But this time, Vincent has been captured, and he's being tortured by um, Mark Singer's, Singer's character, Peter Braxton, who's in charge of this um, evil organization, and they're, they're, they're tor he's torturing Vincent to find out what kind of beast he is, what, he, what he's capable of, and how much can his body actually take. So he tests him. And, but he lets him go because they have other plans for him and other tests that he has to fulfill. And because of these tests, Catherine gets involved and it affects everybody in the crew. And even though Tess has been taking herself out of the loop, she gets drawn back in because of what Catherine does. And then you have JT, who's pretty much down with whatever Vincent does. He gets he, he he's involved as always. And Heather, the, this poor girl, she gets sucked into it too because of her sister because, because of what her sister does. So because of what Vincent and Catherine are doing, it affects everybody in the whole crew. Even though Tess trying to stay out of it. And even in this episode, she arrests. Catherine for what she does. She still gets drawn back in. Now, there's nothing more with the acting on the show. I'm enjoying that. There's nothing more with the characters somewhat on the show. That I'm enjoying that too. I've been watching since the first season. The only problem I have is with Vincent and Catherine. They're stuck in this loop and they cannot get themselves out of it. All they have to do is this one thing and I wish they would do it. It would save them so much trouble and so much heartache, and it would get them out of the state of worry and fear and panic. Turn themselves in. You see, Catherine is part of the law. Not anymore, because she got she lost her job because of following along Vincent. But if they turn themselves in, trust in the law, the truth will come out. These are smart people. They will find the answers. But they had this thing, Vincent has this thing in his head, he has to do it on his own. He has to do this by himself. He's the lone wolf out there in the darkness fighting the demons all alone. Now, he doesn't have to do that. If he turns himself in, told the FBI what's going on, what happened to him, what he is, then the bad guys cannot blackmail him no more or come after him no more because he already exposed himself to the light. You see? Once you're in the light, the darkness cannot touch you. If they do that, everything will be so much easier. And it'll make everybody's life so much easier. JT still be kind of lost. He didn't know what he wanted to do with himself. But still, he didn't worry, he didn't worry about being caught by the police anymore. And Tess, even though she put herself out of the situation, don't have to worry, have to worry about being drawn back in anymore either. If these two get their act together, everything would be so much better, not, not only for them, but for everybody else. That's all they have to do. Because I love these characters. I have been watching it since the first episode from the first season. But eventually, they just should learn, like, hey, maybe our plans aren't working. I mean, this time, their plans happen to work out for them. This time. But the problem is, they're still not free. Vincent is still on the run from the um, NDS, NWC, whatever, whatever the, the FBI group they were called. He's still on the run from them because they think he's the bad guy. Catherine still lost her job. So, you, they had a victory, but they still didn't win. You see? It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I, I'm like, I'm, am I enjoying the show? Yes. I'm having a whole, I'm having a whole lot of fun watching it. I mean, there's, uh, even this episode here, they had pun funny parts in it that actually I did enjoy and made me laugh. But, does these two characters right here, who are the main characters, they're in the way. Because Catherine supposed to be so smart and so strong and independent. But since she, be, since she got with Vincent, she, she, she just can't think for herself, and I don't know why. If she convinces Vincent, Vincent to turn himself in, to a, like I said, to the FBI and let them know exactly what's going on, 
the bad guys who won't be able to touch him ever again. Why can't they learn that? Tess tried to tell him that. And the one thing about Tess that I really liked in this episode, she arrested Catherine. Oh, uh, and I was so happy, happy about this. I said, oh my God, see? See, you stu see what having me, me be stupid? You get arrested. And I was so happy about Tess that, Tess that Tess did this. She still let her go. Whatever, but still, she arrested her. Another thing that made me happy about this episode was Mark Singer as Peter Braxton. Now, Mark Singer played the Beastmaster in a movie a long time ago. But the funny part is, he's still controlling Beast because he had Vincent under his control in the movie here too, in, in, in this episode right here. So he was the Beastmaster in a movie, and he's on this show controlling a Beast. He still pretty much is the Beastmaster. It has not left him. Seeing him on this episode made me happy. Knowing what I used to, what, I, what he was in the movie that he was that he played in, and knowing what he's doing now, put a smile on my face, and I really did enjoy that a whole lot. So, like I said, I am enjoying the show. I have a whole lot of fun watching it, and I recommend it. If you haven't been watching, if you've been watching Beauty and the Beast, check it out for yourself. Hopefully, you will enjoy and have a, have a fun watching it. It's just the main two characters are a pain in the butt. They drive me crazy. I think because I, I I'm so attached to these characters, I care about them so much. And I want, them, I want them to do well. But they keep hurting me. Over and over again. My heart can't take, take, can't, can't take but so much. Please. Get your act together. That's all I'm asking. Writers, make it happen. Please. Make it happen. Oh, it's so frustrating. Well, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about Beauty and the Beast. If you have any thoughts or opinions about the show. Or you got any theories about the show. Leave your comments down below. And like I said before, if you have not, if you have not watched Beauty and the Beast, I said check it out for yourself. Hopefully you will enjoy have a, have a whole lot of fun watching it. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big old like and a thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A uh, peace out of uh, people.